Aries, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be a general reading for the zodiac sign of Aries. It will not resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. This will be for any Aries placement, propensity that is irrele irrelevant, is important to you. Anything seen in the video, contact information, personal reading information, all on my website. A link for that is in the description box. And at the end, we're also going to pull some oracles for you just to give you some more guidance for the week. I do only take jumpers, so patience is necessary. And as far as timing goes, this is for just the vibration of February. Very, you know, time is linear. Whenever this message reaches you, that's when it's for you. Two cards out, both major cards at that. What else do we have for Aries? You also showed up in the Sagittarius reading. I don't know if you're dealing with one, but definitely could be messages there for you. Leo and Capricorn so far, major arcanas, major arcanas, some big stuff is going on for Aries. Okay. Another major arcana, the high priestess, Capricorn, Leo, Pisces. Wow, and all wands. Very much in your element. Sagittarius was also very much in their element, so definitely could be... You know some significance for you there bottom of the deck we are looking at the nine of pentacles earth sign energy capricorn taurus or virgo slow and steady wins the race someone very methodical someone that doesn't invest very quickly someone that takes their time when it comes to making decisions that will impact their life in any way shape or form this person doesn't just give their energy to anyone doesn't give their money to anyone doesn't give their time to anyone just like that they scope you out first right from a distance usually but slowly gather some sort of yay or nay. This could be you. This could be someone you're dealing with. I'm hearing long time coming. Yeah. In your past position, Major Arcana Sun card and the Nine of Wands. So this could be literally a Leo that you've been defensive against. Or I'm definitely getting you're coming in as the Sun energy. Sun is is you know freedom being in flow the creativity growth abundance multiplying nothing happier than a baby on a pony right creativity as well anything the sun grows everything right but the nine of wands i'm almost hearing like someone does is not ready to give up on the thought of happiness almost like look how he's looking at that sun card like eh, it'd be nice but i have been burned multiple times like happiness is 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 nice in theory right but this theory has yet to come to to realization or to manifestation right whoever this is very wounded person someone that has been through a lot all the scars to prove it but they're not giving up they're they're not they haven't quite given up yet right still sort of believing that happiness can be found maybe seeing something or or coming into contact with something or someone that can you know bring pull it out of them this is like someone looking at the sun like why is the sun so happy <laughs> you or someone else you're dealing with definitely could be who this nine of pentacles is for you because i definitely feel like you're coming in as a sun card very bold bright sort of doesn't matter if you look at me or not i'm gonna shine sort of energy right but someone's very guarded someone wants to approach but they're very guarded they're almost afraid they'll get burnt right in your present position, Major Arcana for Capricorn Energy and the Three of Wands. So, Capricorn Energy, Devil Energy could literally be a Capricorn. If not, this is just speaking to attachments of any sort, of any kind. Sexual, material, uh, substance, whatever it is. It's an attachment to something. Usually an attachment so strong it becomes unhealthy, right? Sort of obsessive energy as well. Right? I don't know if someone's obsessed with you because we got two naked people and a baby. Also very sexual energy as well. But definitely some sort of attachment here. With the three of wands, this is expectations. Ah, got it. Expectations, right? Also manifestation energy, waiting on your ships to come in. Manifestations coming into reality. Definitely getting where this is going now. Someone's expectations have been toxic almost. Right? Someone has been trying or aiming for this all of their life, whether this is you or someone you are connected to, a friend, family member, boyfriend, to be, whatever it is. 
someone's expectations of how happiness should go has almost gotten them sort of this, right? And with the devil card, it's almost like unrealistic expectations, unhealthy expectations. Has what what is really what is what really has gotten them into this nine of wands energy? Skeptic about happiness itself, because happiness is not something that requires expectations. It's something you just decide. Happiness can look like a lot of different things for a lot of for for all of us. One day it will look like candy. The next day it will look like a bubble bath. The next day it will look like mowing the lawn. Like it's different. But it's the openness that makes it low or high vibrational, right? If you're open to it or whatever your expectations of it to be, if it doesn't look like that, then that's when the problem starts. Kind of like that meme, we often break our own hearts, right? Because of the expectations or the pedestals we put people on. And then when they can't reach it or get or get there or sit there for too long, we get mad. We get upset. Break our own heart in retrospect. Future energy, though, Major Arcana for Pisces energy, High Priestess with the Page of Wands. The letter B or J could be relevant, but I'm loving to see this High Priestess energy coming after that Devil energy. Someone has definitely grown, matured, wised up spiritually. Looks like they've got a hold of, of these expectations. And because of this, it looks like something new is getting ready to be born, getting ready to be birthed, getting ready to spark. Page of Wands is good news energy. Definitely Sagittarius energy as well. So some of you are definitely dealing with the Sag or another fire sign, or you're just definitely coming into your power, coming into your element. Why? Reviewing these expectations, right? It's almost like only expecting from yourself, re-gearing that expectations to yourself. High Priestess is very intuitive energy, someone that is very connected to their higher self. And to go from like devil to high priestess, or this could be someone else. If you're coming into this, if you're showing up as this high priestess energy, if that is the case, you're definitely shining your light on someone, making them look at their self a little closely. Someone that could have been defensive in the past. Yeah, devil confirmation, death energy, Scorpio energy, transformation. That's that transformation to those expectations that keep breaking your heart. You could have definitely been a guide to this person i'm definitely getting you're coming in as a high priestess on the sun card shining your light being living in your truth living in your authenticity enables people to do the same right maybe a little bit of resistance along the way but that's okay the devil card is here i mean the death card is here this is what the transformation is going to uh ensue this is where the transformation is happening to this expectation this uh unhealthy expectations of happiness okay Let's get the oracles going. For Aries, what does Aries need to know? For the month of February. Death is good. It's almost like death to someone's ego as well. What do we have here? Confidence is your key to success. New moon in Leo. Double Leo energy. So some of you... Definitely, either you have Leo in your chart or this is the energy you're channeling. Your confidence is your key to success. It's also helping others become self-aware of themselves. Right? And sometimes, you know, it's like pulling teeth, but that's okay. It's, it's That's okay. That's what that death card is about, that dark night of the soul. It's going to feel like pulling teeth, but as long as you keep going, right? Why stop in hell? Might as well keep going. What do we have for Aries? Lots of major arcana, though. So this is big for someone. And the devil card. This is big. This is a big pivotal moment in someone's life. Really going to change the dynamic and the flow of how someone's life happens. All because of changing perspectives on expectations. Or putting a death to unhealthy expectations. What do we have for Aries? One card for Aries. Boundaries. Where do you need to establish better boundaries? Now, one thing the High Priestess is good for is setting up some boundaries. Very silent, strong type. Lows a lot, but says very little. This could definitely be what has happened. Definitely giving me High Priestess energy as well. Looks similar, right? 
yeah you're definitely coming in this is high priestess sun energy it's almost like you're just burning all the bacteria off of someone's ego <laughs> Right? And it's a good progress here. Look, we're dropping all the defenses. We're dropping all the wands. Going from the nine all the way down to the one. Getting lighter and lighter and lighter. Because, you know, the ten is the final wand. This person was all the way at giving up. Almost there. But this light that you're shining, helping them see their own toxicity, it's great. It's great. Triggering transformation. Or this could be you. Someone's triggering a transformation in you. What else do we have for Aries? I saw the lion again. Didn't come out though. So definitely there's a Leo for some of you that is significant. Leo season could also be significant. And we have the three in your timing place. So three weeks, three days, something relevant could be happening. What else? Cow spirit. The miracles are endless. Number 15, Taurus energy which is a six. Removing those blockages, that's one thing a bull is good for, uh, you know, removing blockages. Sacred animal as well. Abundance as well. Right? Which this is definitely bringing you back to this Page of Wands energy. Rebirth, fresh new energy. A being able to move forward. All right, Aries, that is your reading for the week. Hopefully that resonates with you. Thumbs me up, leave me a comment if it does, and I will see you all next week.